Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In today's video, I am going to explain about how to handle errors in Talent Studio. There are mainly three ways of handling errors in Talent Studio. That is nothing but one is by enabling a die on error option under the each component and, and second one is by using a component named as t die in Talent Studio and finally the third one is by enabling a log 4j level under the run tab in the advanced settings in run tab. Now, what I am going to show is in this video particularly, I am going to illustrate you about the differences between how to like uh, how to enable a die on error and how the t die component will work and I am not going to show you how the t log 4j level will work because uh, in, I am using a talent open source software like a free open source software but that is why I am not having that log 4j level here. Suppose if you are using any talent licensed version or uh, uh, like a talent trial version then you might get that option uh, under the run tab under the advanced settings in run tab so now i am going to show you about the t die component as well as die on error in handling a errors now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic Now what I am doing is I am creating a new job here. I am naming it as handling errors. I am leaving purpose and description as empty and I am saving it. Now it is op the job is opened in my designer panel. Now what I am doing is first of all I am in I am loading some file here file input delimited and I want to print this output in tlog row console. I want to connect these two rows with main. I need to configure this T file input delimited. First of all, what I am doing is I am editing the schema here. What I want to do is I want to name it as product.txt product name, which is a string, and then month, which is also a string, and then finally the price of each each product name. Sorry, I want Yes. and I want to change edit the schema I want to convert this price to integer instead of string and I am saving it and I am clicking tlog row component I am syncing columns here changing the mode to table so these are the basic things that you need to do whenever you are creating some uh, like uh, some basic job in talent studio using a basic components I am relating to the file where I have the uh, product.txt I am saving it here the field separator is comma I am changing semicolon to comma here as well as here the header is one because we have one row as a header so I don't want those I don't want that thing in I don't want to include those thing in data fall in data records so I am saving it I am connecting I have connected this uh, t file input delimited with the tlog row component using main main connector now I am running it that is successfully running here observe that the exit code is 0 whenever it is what it represents is exit code 0 means it is uh, successfully executed with no any without any errors now what I want to do is here I want to change the product names to prod.txt here in my folder in my talent folder i don't have prod.txt here i don't have any named as a prod.txt i have product.txt i don't have any prod.txt now what it will do is i am again running it the desired output is it should some show some error but what it is showing is it is showing a empty tlog row component now what it means i would like to show what is the exit code here also the exit code is zero but the desired exit code is something some error code like if it is a 1 which represents some un unsuccessful execution but it is showing the exit code as 0. Now how to avoid this type of execution status? Now what we have is under the t file input component we have an option called as die on error. What it will do is if any error occurs while configuring or uh, while loading a data then it will directly stop the execution and show the uh, error code in 
in runtab itself i am clearing the output now i am running it after enabling the dion error option here so if you observe this now it is showing some error i have not shown i have not modified anything except enabling a dion error here here if you observe it the exit code is 1 instead of exit code as 0 so this is how you can identify the errors by enabling a dion error and we have also another option here suppose what i have what i have is i we have a tdi component here i am inserting a tdi component now what i am doing is i am connecting these two sub jobs these two like uh, the first sub job and the second component is on sub job error whenever some error gets happened then tdi error component should get executed here the tdi message is there we can add whatever the message that I, that we want error occurred in sub job this is the sample error message that i am giving or i can also uh, place the message as uh, input file is missing whenever it shows some error because we have only included one input file here the only error that we get is if whether one is thus if either the schema is wrong or else the product or the file name is wrong so what i am doing is here the input file is missing because we already know about the error if you don't want to uh, like write the specific error message then you can write the generic error message also under the dime message now here the exit code is zero and the priority is error whenever the error whenever some error is there then it automatically goes to tdi component and shows that message and also exit code as uh, four now i am running it here the input file is missing right let us see where that content is there where, where that uh, particular message is present now it is not showing any message here i am going little bit below yeah here it is showing some message named as input file missing whatever the message that you will write under the tdi component it will show that message in the like uh, in the console as well as here the exit code as one or the exit code as four instead of uh, one if you enable the dion error option then you are you will get the exit code as one instead of zero and if you run the tdi component it will show the exit code as four instead of one or zero so this is how the tdi component work if uh, the above sub job will will throw some uh, will throw any error now what i am doing is i want to show you how like uh, we have similarly another option named as t uh, log 4j level by default the log 4j level will present under the run tab and and, and in the advanced settings tab under the run section we have advanced settings tab here here itself just like clear before run or save job before execution or statistics just like we have another option named as log 4j level what it will do is we have a several options under this log 4j level like uh, warning or error or information if you select information then uh, what it will give is it will give the whatever the log uh, whatever the information that is present that is related to that particular error it will print the entire thing in our console suppose if you click the warning then it will show some warning under uh, once that error once that particular error gets executed and then if you click the error then it will show up the complete error message on your console so this is the main advantage of uh, log 4j level because it will give the complete information what happens in the dion error and uh, wait, I'm sorry. what happens on the dion error and uh, tdi component means it will show up only uh, like uh, barely some 10 lines or uh, 20, uh, like 15 lines of uh, error message but uh, in the log 4j level it will display complete information related to that particular error so if you have the if you are using any talent official versions like uh, talent licensed versions or uh, trial versions then you can if you want to run the teal log 4j level then you can click the and uh, you can go to run tab here and under the runtime we have advanced settings here click on advanced settings and here you will be having some log 4j level if you click it then you are getting some options like information warnings or fatal errors like that then uh, whatever the option that you get selected the those information will get printed in your console so this is how you can handle errors in talent studio now that's all for this video guys thank you for watching